Hey guys, I'm Nick and welcome back to Siphonetics. Well, today we're talking about the last episode of season two for Star Trek Picard. A trailer has come out which shows a few images uh, for our very final episode of the season. We're going to take a look through that today, take a look at the trailer uh, and see what we might be in for for our last episode of the season for Star Trek Picard. Guys, if you haven't subscribed to uh, Siphonetics yet, please go ahead, click on that big red button to stay up to date with all the latest Star Trek news on YouTube. So, Strange New World starting next week. There's heaps to talk about, so uh, keep up to date and click that red button. Okay, so let's have a look at the trailer for the uh, last episode. We'll look through that and then we'll break it down shot by shot. Let's take a look. Do you think we're on the path to the right future? I'm not certain. He's going to use the drones to take out the rocket. I can't stop him. There's been so much loss, so much death. Other people's lives aren't up to you. Their deaths aren't your fault. Humans, your pains fix you to moments in the past. I have one last surprise in store. Well, first off, we get a look at Mission Control for the Europa mission, where the uh, camera does an aerial zoom-down shot of the rocket. Looks like we've got Rafi and Seven and Rios infiltrating Dr. Sung's lab to find out what he's up to in terms of trying to stop the uh, the Europa launch. Seven is still wearing her bloodied uh, top there that got impaled uh, by the Borg Queen in the last episode. And it appears that Dr. Sung's method for taking out the Europa launch is by reprogramming the drones he previously used as a sunshade for uh, Corey to fly in and somehow destroy the rocket. So it certainly looks like that Rios and Seven and Rafi are going to have their hands full trying to reprogram these drones so that they don't achieve their ultimate mission in flying in to disrupt the Europa mission launch. I'm kind of surprised that the uh, launch launch location doesn't have some kind of exclusion zone for uh, for drone flying and so forth. I mean, domestic airports and everything and international airports all around the world at the moment, you can't fly drones uh, in, uh, in airspace and so forth that has aircraft taking off and landing and so forth. But I guess any kind of software can probably be hacked uh, by Sung or whatever. He's probably clever enough to do that, I suppose. Now, it appears that Talon has taken the place of one of the Europa mission uh, command crew. Uh, her name on her patch there says Maya Orlando. And she's clearly uh, stepped into a role here to personally oversee Renee Picard and make sure that she does what she's supposed to do, including give her her strange uh, little sailboat shaped good luck charm here. Renee Picard looking uh, a little bit worried here in this shot. Obviously, the mission is weighing on her somewhat. Now, this is an interesting shot because we've got Rios and Rafi hugging to what kind of could be a farewell hug. Could this mean that Rios is staying in the 21st century with Teresa and Ricardo and he's not returning with the rest of our crew to the 25th century? We've got an exploding console and a Starfleet officer here flying through the air, which is right out of our events, which took place in our first episode. So we know that at some point in our last episode, we are going to get back to the 25th century for the same moment they left with the Stargazer under attack. Dr. Sung here, no doubt, trying to talk Renee Picard out of the mission and uh, whisk her away to uh, to put the kibosh on the whole thing so that he ends up with the future that he wants and not how it's supposed to be. Looks like we've got some more stuff to do with Picard and his uh, flashbacks of his mum in this episode. I thought we might have been done with that after the last episode, but it seems we've got some more story to tell on that front. A passionate moment here between Seven and Raffi. Corey Sung sitting on the floor of a library using the uh, VR style headset and uh, doing some gestures in the air so I wonder what she's doing or uh, who she's talking to. Dr. Sung in his lab uh, getting a bit pissed off from the looks of things and throwing a glass to smash a bunch of his uh, samples he's got there in the uh, refrigerated unit. Uh, one of these are sort of his eugenics, genetic engineering samples. Renee Picard looking very concerned uh, with uh, something that Dr. Sung has said to her, uh, who's standing just to the right of frame there. And it looks like we have one last interaction between Q and Picard, and it seems like Q might have one or two more surprises up his sleeve for us in this final episode of the season. So fingers crossed that our season finale episode is going to be a satisfying one. It's always a little bit, uh, a bit nerve wracking when we get to the end of the season because uh, the entire season is one big story and you want to hope that, that it's concluded in a satisfactory way. So fingers crossed that that's the case. Guys, uh, please leave a super thanks if you're able to. Much appreciated. It really helps the channel out. Uh, like and comment if you can't. That always helps the algorithm. And uh, share, subscribe to, if you haven't already done so. Or pick up some of my cool Star Trek merch in the merch store. Link in the description. I'll catch you guys very soon for my next video. I'll see you soon.